Hi, this is Sam. We're doing a review on the Caltech P380. You can see it is unloaded. This is uh, my everyday carry gun. I carry it everywhere. Um, I have had no problems with it shooting. Uh, it's never jammed on me. And I was actually able to hit stuff at 25 yards, which is pretty good. A target about that big around. Uh, this is it compared to a wallet. Um, you know, this is the size of most wallets, and I mean, you can tell it is a thin gun. Fits in the palm of your hand. This is it compared to a full size 1911. Clearly, there is a large difference. You can see the back of them. Um, I would recommend this gun for women and anybody looking to have a small little pocket pistol to carry. Uh, it's real nice. It You can get this little extension for the magazines, which just, I don't know, it, it helps me out. I like it. Uh, I'm using a few different types of ammo in it. You got your hollow point right there. I keep a standard just full metal jacket. These are uh I think Winchester Supreme Elites. And then that's another hollow point. And then another just standard full metal jacket. Uh the magazine holds six with one in the chamber, so a total of seven. I got this Uncle Mike's holster. They're alright, they're cheap. So, I mean, it's nice to buy. You know, it holds it nicely. There is a problem with it when it's in your back pocket. You know, I just keep it back there like a wallet because you can see it's almost just as big as a wallet. So, it really doesn't look like a gun in your pocket. When you go to pull it out, a lot of times the holster tries to come with it. Which, that could be a bad situation when you're concealing this weapon. Uh, but other than that, it's a good little gun. You can get little modifications to it. I've seen people uh, file that down. I don't know why you would. I mean, as you can tell, that's a small little hump on there, which it doesn't get caught on anything. You can polish the ramp feed and all that stuff. and It's a good little gun. I would recommend this gun. And... Uh, yeah, that's that's it compared to the 1911 again. Uh, I'll be putting more reviews about different guns. Uh, this is also another small little 380. It's the Smith and Wesson Bodyguard. This is a sweet little 380. Load. Unload that one. It does have the slide lock, which is a nice feature on little 380s. Not a lot of them have that. It's got a built-in laser right there, as you can see. Uh, you can have it pulse. That's a cool feature. Um, one problem with it, once you've been carrying it in your back pocket and sitting on it, the laser is kind of hard to turn on. I don't know if that's an issue just with this one, or if other people are having this issue. Uh... But we'll do a review on this one later. If you guys have any questions, just write on my uh, page. And uh, that was my review on the Caltech P380.